<laughs> Jurassic World, directed by Colin Trevorrow and starring Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Vincent D'Onofrio, and a couple of little kids who we'll get to in a sec. But first of all, let's kick on with what this one's about. It is the fourth installment in the Jurassic Park franchise, I guess you could call it now. And this one does a really good job of ignoring The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 and really focusing on being a direct sequel to 1993's Jurassic Park, which I think is the right way to go about things. Now, all these years later, the park is actually up and running and it is what John Hammond envisioned it would be. People are there, there's, you know, rides and attractions and all sorts of cool things happening but to keep viewership uh, interested in these attractions they have to sort of do something cool every couple of years and introduce a new asset as they call them or a new dinosaur and after the last few years people are bit starting to get bored so they start to genetically enhance and do some funny little things with these dinosaurs not a good idea however this movie has no illusions that it is anything close to the original Jurassic Park and it quickly devolves into more of a monster hunt type movie rather than a suspenseful thriller like the original. Now I will say I did like pretty much all of the performances in this movie with the exception of maybe Vincent D'Onofrio. He plays the default human bad guy uh, role that was covered by Dennis Nedry in the first film and I found a lot of what he did was very very typical and very cheesy a little bit on the nose for my taste but they needed a human villain I guess and he did an okay job. Now for Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, and Chris Pratt is just infinitely watchable in anything. I could watch him do anything and I would find some form of entertainment in it. He's just great fun to watch and this is just sort of further proof that he is that big Hollywood A-lister that can carry a franchise or anything under his belt. He is just great in this movie. Love watching him. Every second of it was just great. As for Bryce Dallas Howard, she was very sort of uptight and very proper and for the first half of that movie it was a bit annoying but sort of towards the second half yeah she comes into her own and that sort of whole style sort of gets stripped away as she's going through the park and having all this stuff happen to her and now for the kids there's always kids isn't there now in the first film lex and tim were like the conduit for the younger viewers to sort of experience this movie you have like the wide-eyed wonder of the brachiosaurs and the gallimipus and that sort of stuff through the kids eyes but then you also have that terror of when the t-rex is trying to eat them or when the raptors are going after them so kids can experience you know sort of mirror what they're feeling this time around they tried to hit all those same notes with these two new kids i can't remember who plays them but once again sort of like bryce dallas held for the first half of the movie yeah i could have done without them they were just sort of there to set up what was happening later in the movie. But for the second half of the movie, once again, they kind of came into their own, gave us some substance for the story, and once again, for the younger viewers, they will be seeing it through these kids' eyes. Now, here's sort of the question that I'm trying to work out. Is this a good movie? Yes, it is a good movie. Is it a great movie? No. But in some places, yes. There's about three to four moments that made this movie worth the price of admission and myself to go, yes, okay, this is not entirely a cash grab. I can see the merit of this movie. But that being said, I did really enjoy my time at the movies with this movie. It was great fun sitting in there with a packed theater, everyone laughing, everyone gasping, everyone going, holy shit, together, which was really cool. So for those few really great moments for Chris Pratt, and for just the fact that this movie did not suck as much as Jurassic Park 3, I gotta give Jurassic World 3.5 out of 5 Raptor Bros. So guys, have you seen Jurassic World? If you have, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And while you're down there, what is your favorite fourth installment into a movie franchise? There aren't that many good ones out there, so think hard. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>